debt the government has. It's such a big number. It, it's, you can't understand how big the number is, but you know it is scary. Have a way to, to value it until we've got it to the point where it really doesn't matter. una persona dedica l'80% più. Well, they've got to make this 15%, but they've also got to cover a lot. Today we have at Skilla a workshop with Brian Maskell, an expert on account, lead accounting. Yes. I would like to ask you, what does mean exactly lean accounting at the concept level? The primary purpose of lean accounting is to provide information that enables a company to drive lean improvement in a very day-to-day -day and constructive level. We want to provide financial information that's available very frequently and in a way that is very clear and understandable to everybody in the company so that they can use that information to manage their business and to drive improvement. We also want to have an accounting control and measurement system that takes a lot less work. And so we are able to create simple systems that give excellent information, but with half the time of the people who work in the accounting office. And so we can say that uh, is uh, strategic uh, when we speak about uh, lean accounting mm -hmm. for one company. Yeah. So companies that are pursuing lean very soon find that their accounting control, measurement and decision making processes don't work in a lean environment. Now that's not because their methods are bad and wrong, it's because they're designed for a traditional standard costing mass production style of management. And so it's important to change the way that the accounting, control, measurement, decision making is done, change those methods so as to make them, uh, that, so that they drive lean forwards and create more, more sales, more profits, and a better company as a result of the lean changes that they're making. And uh, what we can say to small companies in order to have the conviction that it's very important to have the lean accounting in its company? Mm -hmm. Well, if you're a small company, lean accounting is really good because it takes away a lot of the work and it gives the people more time to spend on things that are more strategic and are going to move you forward. A small company is also very easy to make a lot of changes in, and they don't, they're not uh, held back by a lot of uh, uh, corporate requirements and things like that. So a small company that's, that's serious about lean can implement lean accounting in just a few weeks and get real benefit in the short term. And how small companies can begin this, uh, this experience? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the first place to start with uh, lean accounting is to get some knowledge. And there are several books that, uh, that are available and there are training classes that can be done that make this work. And uh, that would be the first place because lean accounting looks at the financial controls and the decision making in a really quite a different way. And so you need to get your Uh, your thinking around a lean approach to this. So that would be the starting point. At that, after that, then we really want to just look at simplifying, recognizing that a lot of the uh, traditional accounting methods are rather complicated. For example, variance analysis, overhead absorption, standard costing, any of these methods are really um, more complicated than a small company needs. And so that would be the, the next step would be to systematically and carefully eliminate those, those kinds of methods. Thank you, Mr. Brian. Okay. Yes.